everybody. I'm here in Portland, Oregon at the Oregon Convention Center for Fan Expo. Let's go inside. Because sometimes when Lloyd is dressed up as someone else, another actor will come in to, to voice Lloyd as that character. And sometimes I do it. And I'm not exactly sure. Do you know what, what the determining factor is there? I have heard, I don't know if this is the, the exact way they do it. I know in some shows with production where there are characters who like are magically transforming into other characters or different things, a lot of times the one of the first things directors will look at is whether or not the Japanese seiyu changed. Oh, and yes. if they did that in Japan, they will follow suit. I don't know if that was Chris's reasoning on Spy Family specifically, but that might be a factor of it. I know sometimes also there's a believability of like, would it be more or less believable for you to do it versus have someone else do it? Um, and then I think that also comes into play. Um, did you know, um, I don't know how much you've seen in the trailers and stuff, that Lloyd dresses up as a woman? Oh, I wasn't going to spoil it for them. I, was, I almost said <laughs> it's it. It's in the trailer. I don't think right. it's that much it of a spoiler. <laughs> yes, I will, I will say that. that I, <laughs> do you want a voice woman, Lloyd? <laughs> And I got to see a little sneak peek of that scene, actually. It's very funny. But yeah, I get to dress up as a girl in the movie, which is uh, exciting. I'm, I'm excited to do that. But but those bits are particularly enjoyable to record. Anytime I get to do something that's not like that straight down the middle Lloyd uh, is, is a lot of fun and really satisfying. For anyone who may have just come in, we are doing Q&A. So just pop your hand up and I'll run to you with the microphone for your question. Could Lloyd Forger and Mikishima, that's from Psychopaths, be good friends in another universe? Well, no, because <laughs> Mikishima is an agent of chaos and uh, only wants anarchy. And uh, Lloyd is very dedicated to order. And uh, so they're, in many ways, they're polar opposites, though they, they are both uh, extraordinarily intelligent and skilled, but I think that their philosophies are pretty diametrically opposed. Thank you. Yeah. I like I tried to play Apex Legends when it came out, and it was uh, I, this is the joke I make all the time. But uh, Shawshank Redemption, the movie, uh, remember the old guy who gets out of prison, yeah. and and he was like, I want to go back because, and his quote is, he's like, and he's writing a letter, and so the great voiceover, and he says, oh, you know, the world went and got itself in a big dang hurry. And that was me playing Apex Legends, because all of a sudden I was like, I need the glasses to see the TV. All of a sudden I was like, okay, let's fire this up. This new game that I'm in, this is great. You know, 30 seconds in, I'm dead. And I'm like, okay, something's wrong with my controller. I'm gonna fix this, and like, you know, start another game, like 15 cents in, I'm dead. And I'm like, okay, this game is broken, something. And I was like, it was just so fast, I couldn't keep up. And that's where I'm at with video games now, so I, uh, I'm, I'm switching mostly to just I guess the crossword puzzle, I guess. <laughs> and I'm getting a warm glass of milk, and some brews, and uh, yeah, I'm watching my, uh, watching my Matlock. Cooking for a mouse. Watching my Matlock. Yeah. <laughs> mouse and cookie. No, I, I still love to see them, though. I, I, I do love to, to get the games fired up, and while I'm terrible at playing them now, I, I do like to see, because we rarely get to see, or we, we, we rarely know what it is we're a part of. Yeah. Uh, so that's neat to see the collective, sort of collaborative effort come to fruition. Yeah, so you essentially bamboozled yourself in the game, is that what Oh, <laughs> nice reference. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, your, your account sounds really similar to me attempting to play Rainbow Six Siege when I became part of that as Ash. I was like, yeah, man, I'm Ash. I'm going to try to play some Siege. And I was just like on a PC with my gun was going like this. And it just wouldn't stop. And I'm like, OK. I didn't get past like the training round. <laughs> I was like, OK, we're going to leave this to the professionals. I enjoy watching professional Siege, so that's really fun. And I played some Zelda, played about 40 hours of Breath of the Wild, rage quit under a waterfall, and didn't go back. <laughs> and I never even was good enough to even be bad now where I wasn't before. You know, I've always been really bad at it. I'm terrible at it. But I will lurk. I will go on YouTube, and I will find people. A couple times I found people playing, like when the Mass Effect Legendary Edition came out. I went on YouTube, and I found a couple people playing, and I would pop into the chat, and then I'd make a comment, and then I was like, oh, I'm just going to tell them. And I was like, hey, and... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. <laughs> and then somebody's like, wait, what? And I was like, Psh, quit. Yep. <laughs> the best is when somebody just will not believe that it's you. <laughs> to see happen in the future of the Zelda and Sonic and Mass Effect um, franchise. 
I'm in it. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's kind of that's sort of it. It'd be like lovely to do more within it. <laughs> I kind of, I personally just trust kind of what Nintendo's going to do because they always are surprising. Uh, I just said I'm in it. Yeah, yeah. you're in it. No, I, I, I actually would love. Yeah. I think there's more to get out of the Commander Shepard story because there's just so much love out there from the fan base as well. And I'm really curious to see. I have no idea what's coming in the next iteration. We really don't. People think we know. We have no idea. But I would love for them to explore Shepard's story more. I don't know if it's a prequel or if it's you know something. But it's you yeah, know I would love that. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog Dog, gotta go fast! <laughs>